A common question I get when talking about control transformers is should you put primary and secondary protection or just primary protection on them? And either can be fine, but if we put secondary protection on, then we can raise the amperage rating of our primary protection. Let me show you why. In UL508A, if we go to section 4212, sizing of overcurrent protection for primary side only, it says for control transformer primary current of 9 amp or more, you're going to be at 125% of your primary current. 2 to 899, you'll be at 167. And less than 2, you're going to be at 500. If we go down to 4213, this is sizing of overcurrent protection when you have primary and secondary protection. And notice in this case, 9 amp or more is now 250% of our rated amps. And we'll need the secondary protection that is at 125%. And similarly, 2 to 8.99 amps is going to be 250%. And then on the other side of it, it'll be 167%. And by allowing this primary protection to be higher, it's going to keep us from getting nuisance trips. And that's really the main reason to add the secondary protection. So in my case, I have a 1 kBA transformer. That's 1,000 volt amp. And I am going to be running at 240 volts. I'm going to divide that by 240. And that gives me 4.16 amps. So if I only fuse the primary, I am in that 2 to 899 range. And that means I'm going to multiply that by 1.67. And my fuse rating would be 7 amps. Now, if I do the same thing, 1,000 divided by 240, that gets me back to 4.16. But now we're going to fuse the secondary also. That's going to be put it up at 250%, so times 2.5. That's going to put me at a 10 amp fuse. That'll give us a little bit more cushion on those inrushes that could pop our fuses. Now, down in the description, you will find a link that has a lot of good resources for you as you're learning to build your panels. And next, let's talk about sizing our wires.